one of the reasons I've been so hesitant about putting myself back out in the world, I call it putting myself out on front street, <laughs> is that this world is so harsh and cruel and people are just not nice. Not Some people are nice, but a lot of people are not nice. And just the criticalness of people, the judgmentalness of people and it's just a turn off. I like the peace and privacy that I now have. And it's hilarious to me because if you would have told me years ago that I was really an introvert and not an extrovert, I would have laughed in your face. And I'm really a little bit of both. I think they call that an ambivert. I'm a little bit of both, but I would have never, ever thought of myself as introverted until I learned to be alone in solitude. And oh my gosh, I love it here really don't like putting myself out. I don't like attention, which is such a different aspect of me now because I used to love, love attention. I used to be so flashy and flamboyant and unbothered. Now it's like, ugh, it's a struggle to put myself out in the world, but I can't ignore the call. There's a sense of urgency in my soul for a lot of things that I need to say to the world and share with the world and teach the world that I have no choice but to put myself out on Front Street. So here I am. So I wanna to talk today about a quote by Frederick, Frederick Douglass that stuck with me over the years. And it is easier to build strong children than it is to fix broken men or women than it is to fix broken people. Let's just say that. It's easier to build strong children than it is to fix broken people. Now. If you have done the work to heal, you know how hard it is. It is not an easy process. It is not a quick process. So my advice is if you have issues and you're not willing to do the work to fix yourself, at the very least, I beg of you to not mess up your children. Please be mindful that everything you say and do is going to affect your children especially if they're young because their subconscious records everything until about the age of seven. Everything that we say or do from the third trimester of pregnancy until seven years old or so is embedded into the subconscious of these children. And if we're causing trauma to these children, it is going to be a lot of work for them to heal that one day. So even if you're not willing to do the work for yourself, don't mess up the kids. And you know, it's not like I'm some perfect parent. I have four children. I wasn't the best parent with the first child because I was in a state of survival mode and I was, I had a lot of childhood trauma on my damn self and I hadn't started working through it just yet. But as I started to evolve with each child, I have grown and I have become a better version of myself. And I am very mindful and intentional about not passing on any trauma to these children because I don't want them to have to do all this work that I am now having to do to remove my subconscious blocks, programming, to heal my past trauma and release that energy. It has been probably about a 15 year process, but nine years full time working at this and probably three years, 100% committed to working on myself. And I definitely see the benefits of doing the work, but not everyone is equipped to make those sacrifices because it does take time, energy, money, and intention and uh, consistency to really heal and evolve. So that's my word for the day. I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.